What's up, Transformer fans and toy collectors? This is Zagatron with another figure review. And today I'll be reviewing the Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Ractonite. And uh, Ractonite here is uh, one of four uh, Kingdom Deluxes in this second wave. So let's take a closer look at the box here. And uh, there is Ractonite in packaging. There is a nice image of Ractonite in his uh, alt mode, one of his alt modes. There's a nice image there of Ractonite in his robot mode. He is a deluxe class. Let's look at the top of the box. We have the Predacons logo there up, up top. Let's look at the side of the box. We have that awesome, awesome uh, kingdom artwork there and at the back of the box we've got Ractonite in his robot and his two alt modes this guy is a uh, fossilizer or weaponizer and so he does transform in 16 steps well, well kind of a transformation as he just you know you just break him apart and you could transform him into uh I believe that's the uh I think it's a triceratops I believe and so you could weaponize him with a um with a deluxe class figure or any other uh figure these figures do have uh, uh weaponizer ports in all of them you know they put uh huffer there and he's an autobot and this guy's a predacon so so yeah so that's it for rack tonight and packaging so let's free him from packaging and let's check him out and here is Ractonite out of packaging. And before we get into the figure, let's get into the collector card that uh, comes with these Kingdom figures. And this is my fourth arc. So yes, I am army building arcs. It's the back of the card. And that's it for the card. So here's Mr. Bag of Bones here, Ractonite, and this is the third of these uh, fossilizers in this uh, series. This is the second wave. Obviously, in the first wave, we had Paleotrex and Vertebrake. So he is, uh, I believe, in this wave, he's the only one. And so, yes, uh, this guy pretty much is a parts former. So there will be heavy parts forming for the rest of this video if you don't like parts forming just look away so yeah let's get into um um mr ractonite here and uh let's take a closer look at all the details and so that's a nice looking head sculpt there i love all the the weathering effects on this figure that that is something that is really cool with this guy here very uh very very nice looking details he does have a, a stub there he doesn't have a hand so i guess i i tried to find things to put there maybe some uh blast effects or something like that that'll alleviate that so there is ractonite's back and there he is. Let's get through the articulation. Got some head articulation, very, very nice. Let's get into the shoulders. Can open this guy up like that. That's not part of the articulation, but yeah, he does have, uh, he does have a bicep swivel, have the elbow bend. You could basically move him in all directions. Pretty much has no hands, so there is no hand articulation there. We have some waist articulation. 
You have leg articulation. You can basically rotate his legs as well. I have a, a knee bend. And we have some ankle tilted there. So yeah, there is a uh, tonight's articulation. So let's get into some parts formation here. So first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to pull off these arms. Actually, we should just pull this guy completely apart. Let's see here. I'm gonna flip him over. We're going to take this bony tail out of the way. And so these legs, we're gonna pull these in all the way. And these are just gonna basically tab right in there so now that's how he looks so then we're going to pull him apart like that and then we're going to take we're going to pull his arms out we're gonna flip this little visor thing. We're gonna flip it down and just cover up his face. And now we have a half of a dinosaur. So then we're going to lower this section and then this plugs in, if I'm correct, this plugs in right here, right? Oh no, this plugs in right here, no? That's the head. Let me see, it's freaking parts forming elements. I believe this opens, oh yeah, it goes like this. This plugs in back here. These legs plug in back there. There's a port back there. Well, that just plugs in right back there. Let's see. Goes this way, right? Yeah. No. There we go. So then we just plug this tail right back there. And so then we get his head. We flip this peg inwards. Close up his mouth so that We'll plug into a little port and then there we go. We have Ractonite in his fossilized alt mode. Okay, you put these legs, gotta rotate them. There's Ractonite in his fossilized alt mode. Actually, these legs, I put them on the wrong way. They go in like this. And there is Ractonite in his alt mode. This is, I believe this is a Triceratops. There he is. Very, very uh, neat looking. It's going through all the weathered details again. His mouth does open. And as far as articulation, you can move these legs up and down. You can put this guy in a bunch of different poses. This goes back and forth. So you can, you pretty much can play with this guy. Got these ports just sticking out the back of the leg. So yeah, I guess if you could probably, he's got that tab there in his mouth that you could push this upwards and you could See if I can get it out of there. 
There we go. Gonna pull it down, you're gonna put a blast effect there. Looks like he's shooting out of his mouth. So yeah. So this isn't the only mode this guy comes with. You can, uh, obviously he does come apart and he's got, uh, this guy is a weaponizer slash fossilizer. And so let's uh, pull him apart and show off his other modes. All right, to continue on uh, with Rack tonight here, since he is a weaponizer, we're going to weaponize him and then we're going to bring in our guinea pig here, Mr. Huffer. Huffer is going to assist us in the uh, in the weaponizing. You know, he's the, uh, per the instructions, it says to use Huffer. I'm sure that you could use uh, Rack tonight with... Uh, other other kingdom or earth rise or siege figures since they have multiple ports that you could use but per the instructions it says to use huffer so i have a copy of huffer and i've reviewed it before and so this is who i'm going to use so let's uh i don't know let's just take let's just take rack tonight apart here let's just you know let's just pull them all over the place since he is a uh, a bag of bones Let's just, you know, let's just disperse them all over the place here. So let's see. I got the, I got the instructions right here. So let's see what we come up with. So this thing here, first thing is apparently this looks like some sort of a hammer. So we're going to start off with uh, his midsection here. So this is going to make up some sort of, uh, of uh, I guess it's some sort of hammer. So then it tells you to grab this piece here and then we're going to just plug it in right over here, right? If I'm, I'm correct, did I get the right piece here? Yes, I believe so. Well, I'm supposed to take this part off, okay. So now it goes like that, I had another piece in there. So now we're supposed to fold it and then I'm supposed to make sure I'm, I'm looking at the right direction. I'm supposed to put it up upwards facing like that. And then I'm supposed to plug this in like this, am I right? Yes, like that. So I'm supposed to plug this in like that. So then I grab one of his legs the front or one of these front legs here and so then I get this and see, am I supposed to open this guy up yes this piece opens up I'm supposed to plug that in there let's see see I'm supposed to open up this like that all right now now we're doing this the right way so we're supposed to open this guy up like that. We're supposed to put this piece, let's make sure I'm looking at it the right way. It's supposed to go like this. This piece is supposed to go in. Let's see. Like that, so now this is what we have. So then there is that there's a port right there, and we're supposed to just plug this guy in like that. The heel facing outwards. All right. And so then we get this little piece here. We're just gonna open it up like that. That's his midsection. And so this is just supposed to just plug it underneath his leg like that. And there we go, we have some sort of, this looks like a, uh, it's supposed to be some hammer or something like that, I don't know. I guess it's supposed to be a hammer, so let's just grab this guy and just put him into Huffer's hand here. Let's just plug that guy in. And he's got the hammer of death there, hammer of bones. 
This thing is top heavy. Let's see if I could just keep it up right like that. There you go. Something like that. This thing just looks ridiculous. But there it is. There is the hammer of bones of bony. You can put them. Let me pull back a little bit. So you can see Huffer and the hammer of bones. There's the Huffman. The Huffman with his, looks like a big, I don't know, look at some kind of fossilized turkey from that angle. But yeah, there is, I don't want to, this thing is so damn heavy. Yeah, there. Let's see if I could just hold them. Yeah. Yeah, it does, it's, it does its job. <laughs> Hey, it's doing his job. Uh, all right. All right, enough for the hammer. Let's get on to the next uh, item. Let's pull in a little bit. All right. Your arms have had enough. Let's put you there to the side. Let's uh, get into the next item. This one actually looks pretty cool. Let's grab the, uh, the head and it says to remove these horns right here. So we shall remove the horns and then it says to grab these legs. I'm grabbing the right ones. We're going to grab these legs here. And then we're just gonna plug these horns in to the bottom of the legs. Where's the other one? I have plugged it into the hammer. Oh, it's a mess of bones in here. All right, so now we have that. We have two horns coming out. We have horny feet. So then we're going to grab this piece again right here that we use for the hammer. And then it says to plug it into the legs. So obviously, see if I'm holding it the right way. This is the top, so let's flip them. These do rotate. And so we're gonna plug these in like that. So we have that looking like that. All right, I'm here looking at the instructions. So then the next thing is to grab one of these and just plug it in, am I looking at it the right way? Oh yeah, okay. I'm supposed to flip this over, so it says to plug it in right here. So then we're just gonna do that. And then we're going to pull this out. And then this is just going to plug into Huffer's back. So Huffer has a port right there. I think this is better if I do it like this. This just plugs into his back like that. And it forms some sort of a of a turret. So that's pretty cool. So it forms that on Huffer's back. And so we'll leave Huffer there for now. So then let's continue. So then we're going to get the middle section here. Let's put Huffer off to the side here. So we're gonna get this piece right here. If Huffer could stay standing. So we're going to get this piece here. I'm gonna remove this. So then it says to 
plug in the plug in the bony tail. So we're going to plug in the bone tail here. And so then we're going to grab this foot here, this yeah, one of these feet here. I'm gonna pull out the the peg. We're gonna plug this guy into that port right there, like we did before. And then this just falls back and it lands. It's got a groove right there, it just lands down. All right, and so we're going to plug it into Huffer's hand and make some, some, it forms a sword. This is probably the coolest configuration that they, out of all the, it comes with three configurations in the, uh, in the, uh, in the instruction manual. This is probably the coolest one that he comes with. Now this thing falls apart. Damn you, bag of bones. There you go. Offer you being a... This is having a problem plugging in. Why, Offer, why you give me a hard time? There we go. I got that sword going right there. That sword must weigh a ton. Okay, we won't grab it. And so they want this piece. Plugging into the side of the sword. Plugs in somewhere around here. See if I have it the right way. I think it's supposed to open up. You could you could do it however you want, it doesn't really matter. You plug it in on this side. It's supposed to plug in, in these ports here. It's supposed to go there. I mean if you don't want to plug it in there too. I mean you could he's got ports all over. You could plug this guy here if you want to plug it into his side here. Like you could plug this guy into his arm and do something wacky like that. I think that actually looks pretty cool. I didn't try that. And then you're supposed to um, use the head as a shield. Actually, I haven't tried that before, actually. I think that doesn't look that bad. It looks pretty cool, actually. And then you can just plug this guy here. This is variation number two. Actually, it looks better here. It looks like a, some sort of gun. There, you can put a blast effect during that end and you could just plug the head in there as a shield. So now Huffer's got a shield that that's a pretty cool look right there. That's uh yeah, this turret is and that looks pretty cool. You've got Huffer all armed up there with the rack tonight. Got a sword, he's got a shield, he's got cannons on top of, he's got bone cannons on top. That's pretty cool. And uh, let's see, what are, shall we do the, the final? Yeah, why not? Let's do the final configuration that the instructions say, but then again, you could just go crazy and just do all sorts of different combinations with this guy, I mean, these guys have a bunch of ports all over the place, so you could just go crazy. I'm just reading off the instructions. I mean, I'm not doing anything, but then again, you could just do whatever. I mean, that's that's the whole point of weaponizing these guys. Huh? You just, you know, you could grab these legs. We could grab these legs and we could just you know, plug them here on a on a 
we could do that right here as well instead of going through our whole turret thing we could we could do that right there we could just do that that's one configuration there and and you could plug this in here on the side or in his bag and we do something like this I mean I haven't tried this. I'm just trying this. I'm, I'm just trying all these configurations on camera for the first time. I'm gonna do something like that and and put the tail up here and do something like that. So I mean, I'm just I'm just going wild right now with uh, with Mr. Rack tonight here. I mean, I don't, got 14 on the side. I don't know. That looks ridiculous. I mean, I don't know. If you wanted to, you could just do that right here. There we go. Well, that's enough of that. Let's get back into what we're supposed to do. Let's get back into what the instructions say to do. So, let's see. What am I grabbing? I'm grabbing his whole midsection here. And uh, you get to the side really quick. We're going to grab this section here, and uh, what are the instructions telling me to do? It's telling me to get this plug and just flip it in. This is actually, hey, what's up, man? Track the night tag. So we're going to get that, and it's telling me to flip. Does it want me to flip it in like this, I guess? Yes, it wants me to flip it in. So we're having it back to how it came. And so then, and so it wants me to add these, uh, it wants me to add these, uh, these horns or tusks, is that the correct word? To plug them here on the side. And then we're going to get the last one here, which is on the front of that head. And it wants me to plug it in here, right there. So now we have that going. So then we're going to get this piece right here. And so where does it want me to plug it in? Right in front of the head, right? Right there, right up on this port right here. I was going to do that. Yeah, and it forms another kind of, uh, you know, clobbering weapon. So we have that. And so for the next, we're supposed to grab the head and we're going to open up the head and then we're going to expose this peg right here. We're gonna so we have that peg right there. And what are we supposed to do next? We're gonna stick one of these smaller legs. That's stuck in there. So it wants me to stick one of these feet in his mouth. Or one of his legs in his mouth. With the peg sticking out. And so we're going to grab the bony tail here. And we're going to close the mouth and put the bony tail here. And that's it. So we got these two other pieces here. I, mean, so I guess we could keep them like this. So we have the, uh, we have the, uh, what, some kind of a bludgeon hammer thingy. You can have that thing very top heavy. Let's remove these things out of the way just to give more view. I think it looks better on this side, so it's it's not hollow. Hey, just get loose. My God, this guy's so... 
So we have this, I'm gonna bludgeon you to death. And then we have this uh, sword slash, um, uh, it's kind of like a sword slash shield, pretty cool. And I'm gonna plug that guy in and then there we go. Let me rotate the hand a bit. Cause this guy is giving me a hard time too. There we go. So there, let's get this out of the way too. And there is Huffer with the last piece of Ractonite there. He's holding the, the death hammer of bludgeonness and we've got the shield slash sword. Put that like that, and yeah, that's better. Got the perfect caveman look right there. It's so top heavy, it's hard for him to stand. Let me see if I can just push him. There we go. Uh, yeah, I know, I know, this is difficult. There we go. It's kind of like, kind of like the Pro, the pose and I'm trying to get him in and there we go and that's it for the final uh, piece of uh, of weaponry that is part of uh, of paleo of well, not paleo drugs rack the night there we go and for my final verdict on this figure um, he's just okay for me but then again, I'm not into the whole part forming element. He does look great. I love all the weathering effects on him. But if you're into part forming or if you're into uh, having every single figure in a wave, then go grab this guy. Other than that, I, I mean, I'll, I'd pass on him. I picked him up at Target and he's also available wherever um, Transformers are sold. And so that's it for this review. Please make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to share. Make sure to comment down below. And uh, this is Zagatron signing out. And this is the Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Ractonite video review. Thank you for watching.